Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a one-way chi-squared using R, and we're going to take the example data from da on P's from Chapter 6 described in the book. You'll either have to download the example data file from the Online Resource Centre, or create your own data file, and you can follow the instructions in the help sheet on how to do that. So the first section of the help sheet will show you how to create a data set that, we can, that you'll use it at you can use in this video, but as I said you could also download it from the Online Resource Centre. Have the one way uh, chi-squared help sheet handy because uh, we'll be referring to that and getting code from that as we do the test. So first thing to do is to open R and what we're going to do is open a new script file now that helps because if you make an error in the code or so forth, you can edit it. So I usually do it this way. You can't, and then uh, we're going to tile them vertically just to make it easier. Now we need to put some code into the R editor window, and I'm going to get that code from the help sheet. So here's the help sheet, and I'm going to go down to where we get the code. Now it's a two-step process, the one-way chi-squared. This is the code for the first step. The code's in blue and the notes that go with that code are in green. The notes don't make or do anything, they just to help us keep a track of what, what, what's happening. So I'm pasting the notes and code into the R editor window and what I need to do is replace the stars with text that's relevant to this example. So we're going to use P's as the name of the object in which we're going to put our data. And this will attach and print out the names in that file. And then we're going to, as a first step to calculating the chi-squared, we have to calculate the frequencies, the observed frequencies. So this bit of code here tells you what to do, so you tells R what to do, so we're going to replace the stars with the appropriate word. This, t this will be the name of the variable that we want R to do the one-way chi-squared on, and so this is going to tell us the, the frequencies. Now we have to highlight the code and run it, which is Control-R. first bit of code is telling, asking us to go and get the data, uh, which well, you will have either made or downloaded from the Online Resource Center. And this gives us the observed frequencies. So in the set, we're ready for step two now. So we go back to the help sheet, and we're going to get the code for the second part now, which is down here. If you've actually got your data already, or if you've already got your observed frequencies, then you can just skip to this second step in R. And it's actually a really good alternative to SPSS if you've uh, got your data in this form, because the SPSS is actually quite clumsy if you've got your data already in um, frequency form. We kind of paste that. So then we need to exchange the stars for what's relevant to this example. This is the observed frequencies. So we get those from over here because that's what the code printed out, worked out and printed out for us. So 26, 31, and 26, and 27. And here we is an indication of the uh, observed uh, the expected ratio. So it says it's a right, as it's a, a test of homogeneity in this case, we're going to make those all a quarter. Now we're ready to run the code for the second step. So we highlight it and control R. And here we have the results of our chi-squared test. This tells us, uh, this is our statistic, our degrees of freedom, our p-value. Um, 
when you're reporting a chi-square test, it's good also to report the total number. If you don't know that, um, that you can, there's a little bit of code that will tell you, and it's actually in the additional notes on the help sheet. If you go down here, and we can get that, what is this one here, the length. And we copy that, go back to R, paste that in. Um, we want the length of category. Oh, I didn't need to do this as well. Take that out. And we can highlight and run that. That tells us. So now we have all the information to we can standardly report for a chi-square, the results of the chi-squared test. And uh, a couple of other things to notice is if you didn't know, you couldn't remember the names of the uh, variables in your data set or you weren't exactly sure how they were spelled, upper and lowercase and all of that, you've, in that first bit of code you see here, they're printed out and this is the one that we were going to do the one-way chi-squared on. So that's where that went into there. Uh, we got the numbers here, the observed frequencies, that was printed out by the code and so we got it printed out here. If we'd already had those we could have just skipped to this stage and done the uh, one-way chi-squared test which the results come out here. Notice that if we had um, fewer categories of, of, of frequencies then you'd have less, you would just have say two numbers here and two, no, two uh, proportions here. And that these proportions, don't, the, if there was a, a, a different ratio you were expecting of your expected frequencies, you could um, indicate that through changing these numbers. That's all.